Okay, I'm back in Adobe Captivate 12.2 and we're looking at one of the quick start projects. I've added some closed captions to slide one to coincide with the audio that's on this slide. Now, if I wanted to export the closed captions, perhaps on my team, I have someone who does quality assurance and they're gonna check the closed captions for uh, grammatical choices and things like that. There's no way I can do it. The best I can hope for is if I go into the file drop down menu and export project content and closed captions. And what this produces is a single old style Word document that someone can look at, make some changes to, and then I can import and replace not only all the closed captions, but all the on-screen text as well. And this is a cumbersome process. There might be a need that you have where you simply wish to export these closed captions in one of the standard closed captions formats, VTT or SRT. And that just doesn't exist in Adobe Captivate 12.2. Okay, so we've upgraded to Adobe Captivate 12.3 and we're dealing with the same slide as before. What I have, of course, is the audio on my timeline, as you can see here. If I go into the audio option in my right hand toolbar next to the properties inspector, I, of course, can edit my closed captions and you'll see them here. You can expand this a little bit or zoom out so you can see all of your captions make whatever adjustments for timing as necessary. And the advantage of 12.3 now is that I can export the closed captions for this slide as one of two different formats. You can see I can give it a name, we can decide what location I will save that to, and we can choose the file format. SRT and VTT are common closed caption type formats. And they're ideal if you want to send these to, let's say, a quality assurance expert who's going to go through and make sure your text is appropriately written with the correct punctuation and case and so on. I like to use VTT. One of the advantages that VTT as a format offers is the ability to format the closed captions as well. So I can take an application such as Notepad and open up that particular file. And what you'll see now, of course, is all the closed captions that are included on this slide here. So welcome to Customer Service Skills Online Module. You'll notice here that we can change the font color. We can choose a different font and we can even choose the size of font for these entries as well. So that's definitely an option that you can use to further enhance or customize your closed captions. And again, that quality assurance expert could go through and just validate that everything is set up appropriately there. Once you've saved that, of course, you can close that and then click on replace and that will give you a warning, of course, if you already have closed captions in place and we can select replace, navigate to where we've saved those changes to our VTT or SRT file, click on open, and then those new captions are there for you to, to use.